Okay, we left off with doing the single crochet all the way across here and we did one more on just this side and we stopped. So now we're going to go ahead and do three more single crochet. So here's one, two, and three. Okay, next we're going to do one single crochet, two together. So in order to do that, you put your hook through the next stitch and you bring up that yarn. And then you immediately go into the very next stitch and bring up that yarn. And you've got three on the hook. You put the yarn over the hook and you pull through all three of those. And you want to make sure you keep it pretty snug not super tight where you can't get your hook back into there, but pretty snug because we want it to start to bowl up and curl up. And if you don't do it, uh, if there's too much slack in it, then it won't do that. So go ahead and we're going to do this uh, single crochet two together all the way around until we get to right about here where there's four stitches left. So there's one, two, three, four. So we're going to do it right about here. So make sure you leave four right there for a single crochet. So this is single crochet two together. So we're going to put our hook into the next stitch, bring up the yarn, and then go into the next stitch and bring up the yarn. Put your yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops. And we're just going to continue to do that all the way around. And it should start to curl up should look more like a hat. And I got lucky today, there's a little bit of sun shining. So usually I use my sunshine to make the videos, and when there's an overcast, the videos don't really look that well. But the sun started peeking through a little bit. The cold weather came in last night, along with the smoky looking clouds. Okay, see it's starting to curl up now a little bit. So that's what we want. We're just going to continue to work these single crochet two together all around. The stitches are kind of hard to see on this uh, blanket yarn, so I use my fingers a lot to feel where the stitch is at. To make sure that I'm getting it, I don't think you can probably see it, but there's actually two loops right there. It kind of looks like one loop, but there's actually two there. So I use my fingers to feel to make sure I got both of those loops in there when I'm working.
see here's one, two, three, four. So go ahead and do single crochets. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do four more rows of just regular single crochets all the way around. So we're just going to keep going around doing the single crochet, just one single crochet into each stitch. And we're going to do that all the way around and until we have about four rows of them. So, if you find the videos helpful, please consider going back and subscribing to the Hook and Loops channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And this is probably going to be a short video because all we're really going to do is just keep going around doing single crochets until we get four rows of just the regular single crochets. So you go ahead and keep working your single crochets all around and it'll just keep uh, bowling up and getting, you know, more curved in, looking more like a hat. And just keep uh, doing that. And then I'll meet you there and we'll finish it up in the next video.